Right. Remember when Gwyneth Paltrow did the vagina scented candle? Which, yes. by the way, the yeah. crazy thing about that, smelled like heat. <laughs> Stick around, make a sound, there's more to people town. Hey Townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Population you. Population Wardell. Brandon, Brandon Wardell. Wardell. Welcome we, to the show. How are you, right? man? I'm feeling I'm feeling great. I like I like Fiery we, open. We come in and we just hot, hot dude. Dude, there, so, there it is. Ooh, my. fire that! Uh, <laughs> the, he opened a can of dumb. Oh lord! I was he just opened. watching early episodes of I Think You Should Leave. Loved seeing you show up. And oh, well, thank you. I was like, dude. oh yeah, I forgot about. it. I was like, hey. Oh yeah, I'm in uh, that a uh, couple times. Dude, yeah. he was phenomenal in Easter Sunday. The oh, uh, thank you. Oh, I loved him Joseph. in that movie. Yeah. Let's talk about him like he's not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved him in that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever I see Brandon, it's I'm such a tell shame. Him we do third person interviews. I can't believe, can't believe he fell off so hard. I wonder how he felt when he did. That. Yeah, well, we'll there's no way know. we'll ever know. <laughs> there's no way to uh, know. <laughs> no, you were great in that Jay Chandra Sekar. He's fantastic. I love mm -hmm. that movie, and, and oh, I thought you were you. really good. Lou Diamond Phillips, Thanks. come on with the oh, yeah. cameo there. I watched him uh, learn what Tide Pods are. Oh, and then like he in ate real them? time? Yeah, like I watched him like find a bag of Tide Pods, <laughs> and like the, we were all staying in like the same. Uh, yeah. Like, Sa not the same apartment, but right. the same floor of the same yeah, hotel. apartment building. Yeah, apartment. And uh, I watched him find a bag of Tide Pods and go like, "What is this? What, what is this?" And he was like, dr "Everybody was drunk, of course." Right. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like LDP, um, like <laughs> five drinks deep, <laughs> finding out what a Tide. I, I had to like explain to him what a Tide Pod is. You just go horrible for the environment. You yeah, no, I, I didn't. I didn't explain any of the yeah environmental ramifications. Sure. Anything. <laughs> So Save the viral stuff a couple of years ago. Or you just keep going like them. ethereal. He's like, yeah, but what is it? You're like, exactly. exactly. What, yeah. is what, is what is it? I don't even know how it works, bro. man. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, how do they get the swirl? I, uh, by the way, I do. I did. I did notice uh, you have the the Bob Newhart vinyl sure. uh, yes. on display in the back, which I really like because yeah. I did. Um, when I was on my 16th birthday, mm -hmm. I asked my parents to take me to see Bob Newhart. Yeah, you did. Great gift. You're like, this uh, kid's yeah. going into comedy, yeah, period. 15, 15 going on 16. I was like, I really need to see Bob Newhart. 15 going on Garner. 70. Awesome, yeah, 15 yeah. going on uh, that's yeah. My the way, favorite Bob, Jennifer Garner movie. 15 going on 70 is a movie you could make. I want him to make 15 going on 70 with Bob Newhart. <laughs> Uh, although I don't think Bob Newhart he's like 96 uh, so yeah, is he still alive Bob Newhart he's, yes. still, he's, he's still, still with us he's still doing shows how old do you think he is uh, I want to say 94 uh, so 91 so here's the deal <laughs> the world is dumber mm -hmm. and I and I love that like the Lou Diamond Phillips story is a great story because <laughs> You're like stars and really sure. famous people, mm -hmm. I feel like don't have basic knowledge. Right. Like no, what it, they no. don't like they're shielded away from the day-to-day yeah, -day right. stuff that exists. Oh, actors are oftentimes <clears throat> the dumbest. The dumbest people. The dumbest. Well, it's like it's also uh, kind of incentivized <clears throat> with the job. Sure. He's 94. Like it, Blank slate. It. And, and not not saying that with reference to uh, LDP. No, he's sure. other other actors, <clears throat> but actors like by and large yes and, you know hey you know let, get, let's get let's get those residuals let's get to the, the yeah, let's get all all that shit settled but actors oftentimes some of the dumbest motherfuckers oh, out, of touch, yeah. out of touch out of touch with reality out of touch with reality on it rewards being like a a blank slate yeah. you know 100%. like how do you like a golden <clears throat> retriever that you're going around like, right <laughs> I'll, I'll do a double teach him that out. trick right exactly yeah. all right so, so i'm gonna jump into the story i would love to act it. more you know, when the strike is over we'll know? make that happen all <laughs> right uh this may be my favorite headline of all time sent in by eric james hiltner okay. at ej h Reek. Right. And of course, all of us are part of the Hiltner Honors Program. Of course. <laughs> all right. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. I, I can't believe this story. And even as I read it, I cannot believe that this happened or how it happened. Put it this way. I'm looking at this story the way Lou Diamond Phillips looked at a bag of type. Okay. I'm like, how? How? What is it? Here's the headline. Pet fish commits credit card fraud on owner using Nintendo Switch. <laughs> What Wait, no. say it one more time. Pet fish commits credit card fraud on owner using a Nintendo Switch. You How? Mad Libs? I no. How? That's not possible. In a freak series <laughs> of seemingly random events, a this switch is the opening of Magnolia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> more, like, uh, more like Smart Fish Town. Right. Yeah, 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 smart yeah. Fish Town. Great show. A, a switch owner's pet fish 
accessed his eShop account and added funds to it using his credit card. How? How? Wouldn't the, also the fish forget every 12 seconds? Right, so mm -hmm. we kept on adding, adding it. That's right. Did I buy this? Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> Was, Every fish is in memento. <laughs> <laughs> that was my that was Something one, my wife it. when she did stand up years ago. That was one of her bits. Was like the fish seeing like a swimming around its yeah. thing and just being like the there was like a little diver next to the castle and the fish would come around and be like hi diver, <laughs> sure hi diver. Yeah, yeah. Well, was that considered fraud? I don't know. Uh, if That's it's a, a great it, question. So here's the, the the fish wasn't. Yeah, the fish not just not from trying like a place to of like nefarious thank you, thank you. motivation. Intent. So Brandon bringing up the point that mm -hmm. intent is half the battle. Brandon here. graduated law school. That's right. He did. <laughs> the crime was caught on video during an unsupervised live That's stream. That's even wilder. Hundreds of viewers watched as the little fish stole their owner's identity while he was gone. How? Wait, what is this streaming on? This Twi Twitch. Twitch. Oh. Twitch. The entire heist started as an experiment to see if the fish could complete Pokemon Scarlet and Violet unassisted. I'm going to be honest with you, Randy. I don't know. I have it. yet to understand any sentence you've said in this story. <laughs> to do it, Japanese YouTuber okay. Mu Mutekimaru Channel set yeah, you up. tried. YouTuber set up a webcam focused on his fishbowl. Motion tracking software monitored the fish as they swam across an overlaid grid populated with controller inputs. If a fish paused or changed directions, the correlating controller input registered in the game. So, so you kind of set this up for the fish. Exactly. Muteki didn't Maru. didn't steal your identity. It's Muteki Maru had done this experiment before This is essentially like the nerdiest game of stop hitting yourself. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> or, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like you've, you're you doing it to it. yourself. Yeah. Or the Japanese version of the new season of Squid Game. Sure. All right. His fish successfully completed the task, finishing Pokemon Sapphire. And no, he didn't. His fish moved around. How many hours did it take for the fish to finish Pokemon Sapphire? How many hours? What do you think? Six. Jay? I mean, they're constantly moving. Four. What do you think? With the finished Pokemon Sapphire? Yeah. Like, each way it moves, each way it moves corresponds it to a movement, movement that the game the does. Oh, does it get, like, it's wired? Yeah, yes, so exactly. when did yeah. it move enough times in a certain pattern um, to complete this? I mean, this? how long does it take a human to finish that game? More than six hours. Right? I don't know. I'm yeah, I thought it was one task. The whole game? It's like yeah. a long game. Yeah. Oh. The whole game. I mean, doesn't that take game. people days? <laughs> I don't know. For, I don't know. To like finish a game. I'm gonna go. Know. I'm gonna go 37 hours. I'm gonna assume it's like a 12 yeah, hour game. What did you say, Jay? Four hours. I said four hours. But what do you change, think, dude? That's I'm way saying low. like I'm. I'm gonna say uh, 40 hours. Okay. I'm gonna go 39 hours. 39 hours. Okay. Yeah. How many hours? Three thousand one hundred. Okay. See. Hours. Yeah. So, okay. okay. Then what the fuck? So more I than four. Said way more. But so, I actually I have the correct instinct. You were yeah. 100. So Whereas now, like yeah, it takes people. Days, weeks. Right. Okay, but um, so yeah. this but is you my next win. question. You were the this closest. This is like yeah. Dan. I this is the, yeah, thank you. This is yes. our like uh, our current timelines. Uh, chimpanzees in a room writing Hamlet. That's right? it. That's it. That's yeah. hundred percent. How long would it take them? You to can't do that? credit them with it, right? So how many hours does it take? This is according to this uh, article. On average, to beat the game, just a regular human to do it. What did you say before? You were I'll still, I still like my guy. 36 hours. 36 hours. What do you think? A regular person to complete it. To complete the game? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to actually say like, uh, last like of two us, weeks. Two weeks. Last of Us is like a 10, 12 hour 87 game. 87 hours. Okay. 30 hours. Okay. It See, yeah. uh, However, uh, this time around, things did not go quite as planned. The identity theft occurred when Mute Muteki Maru was away from the YouTube live stream. Uh, the game went swimmingly. Stop. Stop uh, with it. the fish winning several battles at the one hour, 140 or the 144 hour mark, the game crashed as games sometimes do. Mm -hmm. But without Muteki Maru present to fix the situation, the system continued registering inputs from the fish. Right. Eventually, the pesky little critters got to the Nintendo eShop. It's like when your cat walks across the keyboard. <laughs> it's right. No, but this and you're is, like, what program did right. send an open. email? So eventually, like, where did yeah, so where the, did my window? Okay, go? I get it now. So the game crashed, but the fish are still moving, and it's still hooked up to it. Right. So, so it rebooted, right, like how it, like <laughs> like every time you have to restart your computer, Dropbox reopens, right. so and you're re like, get the fuck out uh, of right. here, Dropbox. So it reboots, and then eShop. Shut Comes up box. twice and entirely by chance registered the correct sequence of in sequence of inputs to add how much yen. How much yen did it add? So this is also like uh -oh. when you guess a gift card number. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, how much yen do you think it put in there? 
Uh, uh, 10,000 yen. What do you think? 5,000. What do you think? Uh, 20,000 yen. It put 500 yen, which is okay. about approximately how many in U.S. dollars? Do yeah, you see, that's the, the currency know. converter. What I was do like, think? I don't know. 500, 500 the, yen. Is, is the dollar not, strong right now? I don't know. Just take a guess. <sighs> 500 yen is how many dollars? <laughs> Eighty-seven dollars. I was gonna say eighty bucks. Eighty <laughs> bucks. What do you think? Ninety bucks. It's, it's four dollars. Ah. Four dollars. <laughs> oh yeah. I see. I have no idea what. Yeah, we didn't claim I those in a goddamn Conversion travel show. Total identity, identity this theft. This isn't smart fish. Town. He He's stole making... four dollars from me. <laughs> Miteki Maru's account from his credit card that was saved on the switch. They also exposed his credit card information to everyone watching. Fuck. Good. How great good. is good. that? He deserves it's it. Good. <laughs> yeah. That to me, That'll I teach like you to be a YouTuber with your own personal. This, information. This should be the story of Finding Nemo 3. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, buying Nemo. Then the yeah. scoundrels managed to use some of the Fighting Nemo. Muteki Maro's accumulated reward points to purchase a new avatar. Download the N64 emulator. Get PayPal to send him In the words of Joe Pantoliano email. from Goonies, I'm starting to like this fish. <laughs> I really am starting to like this fish. And change the, his Nintendo account name from Muteki Mario dumb idiot. to Ro Ra Wa Wa Way. <laughs> That's what they changed it to. <laughs> the f- the fish. What if the fish had somehow typed so out? So he kind of, how this happened is he like left, left yes, the, left the, the system reboots, system crashed, reboots and, and left the, fish the fish is doing all these motions and it's setting off and it's logging in. Because it's essentially, him in. he's essentially yeah. made it so that if the fish goes left, that counts as a left click on a mouse. If the fish goes yes. right, that counts. And so it's just... Do you want to change your password? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, right. I see. Yeah. I see what is your, your what name? If, what, if, what if the fish had written out, like, I had a family. Please help me get back home. Like <laughs> The fish is like. Yeah, like, uh, was that the Gorilla Coco? Yeah. It was like, yeah, we taught it sign language. And then it depressed us all because it was able to tell us how fucked up I'm this is. I'm lonely in this cave. Yes. Stop treating me this yeah. way. All right. Anyway, so uh, the fish free for all went on for how many hours? How many hours did this go on? I mean, here's the other thing. His streams were probably through the roof because once you're watching a fish hack into somebody's <laughs> system, are you going to stop? Yeah, I mean, you're so pot committed. Yeah, just I would to, say his swim, his streams were swimming upstream a little bit. Go. Also, yeah, I'm, for all of the fish wordplay, I'm, not, I'm surprised nobody's gone with the pH. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come on. Too, yeah. I mean, so let's into talk the about it. If you were watching yeah. this, wouldn't it kind of feel like the end of Truman Show? I mean, where you'd be it, like, Come on, fish, get would, out. Wouldn't it also kind of feel like the middle of a fish concert? You know what I mean? Where aimlessly like moving around in around. multiple like, directions. What's the point of this? <laughs> yeah. And then boom, you're in. Right. Um, okay. How many, what was how it? many hours did the fish free for all take place? Well, it's until he comes back home because he doesn't realize. Yeah. So how long? Six hours. Jay? Four. Seven hours. Jeez, one of you of is exactly right. That's me. Six. You gonna hang with six? I'm yes. with my are you four. staying seven. where you're on seven? Get your answers in town. Is because Brandon Wardell is absolutely right. Yep. Seven hour oh, free wow. for all. Yep. Yep. Seven hour free for all. Okay. Before the future <laughs> bait finally managed to power down the switch. Uh, Muteki Maru contacted Nintendo explaining what happened. That must have been a fun conversation. No, so what <laughs> happened no, was damn, a fish, fish hacked my identity. A, that's Hello? Like the most bullshit. Hey, at least answer he has proof. Ever. Right. Yeah, he actually did have streaming. He proof. asked for a refund of his $500 yen. Hilariously enough, Nintendo granted the request. Good on Nintendo, yeah, actually, right? Yeah. To the, believe yeah. this guy, like Dude, who's PS5 this would have kept that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sony didn't give a fuck. So all said and done, nothing was lost, truly, except uh, how many points for an avatar? How many points did he lose for a new avatar? What does that mean? You have to g- buy a new avatar. Oh, you need, how many points With did it e-points? cost? Yeah, it cost points. 250 points. I don't what know. You, you know the Fortnite system. Jay, what is it? Yeah, it's the skin. How much on money Fortnite. would you say you're in to Fortnite? So I probably spent. All in. If you really had to guess. It's not. And gonna, I understand it counts as gifts. You bought your son a it's gift. It's going to be depressing. It's probably like. 2K? No. Three? More like eight hundred dollars, maybe a okay. thousand. That's that's moderate. It's not bad. Over the yeah. course of six years, I think years? he's he's yeah. probably he's probably <laughs> guessing low, but whatever. <laughs> For like Fortnite DLC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. All right. So Jay, what? Um, I'm gonna How say. I said two fifty. Yeah, you said two fifty. What do you think? Thousand. Uh, one thousand one. There you yeah, go. Uh, 
10 points for an avatar. Okay. Well, no harm. I'll take the W. No, no, why did I say a thousand? No, I should have. <laughs> no you meant harm. 10. You meant no 10. harm, no foul. I'm surprised you didn't say no harm, no All of the currency conversion, it's. it's I know. I know, dude. Feel, I'm no, failing sorry. this ACT. It's okay. No harm, no, no harm, no again. flounder is what I expect. That. This is the last sentence of the article, and it is so morbid, I just don't even understand it. Hopefully, uh, Muteki Maru sees it that way too and doesn't flush the little thieves down the toilet. What, what? the fuck? Like, Bro? Why? Yeah. Why? It, well, flushing a fish down the toilet, by the way, doesn't kill it. I mean, it just puts it in the sewer system, which will probably yeah. die. If you leave your toddler really... sitting yeah. next to a bucket of paint, yeah. whatever happens when you've come back into the room is not on it's that. It's not, no. not on the if toddler. If you create a system for your fish to be able to control yes. your computer and you leave it on. That's right. Dan, this yeah. is a metaphor for AI. What we're dealing with right now. Yes. You give that fish too much power, it will dominate your life. Fish AI. You teach yeah. a fish to fish, fish, AF. It'll fish the rest of its life. Uh, mm -hmm. So that is the first story down Love in the it. books. Love Something fishy. funny and that fishy so and dumb. Stupid. Daniel got the second story. Awesome. Uh, we'll be back with more Dumb People Town uh, and find out what we're doing right after this. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Hey guys, welcome back to the welcome show. Back Before we get show. into story number two, uh, quick plugs for us. Uh, uh, when this drops, we might have a tag it in the middle of uh, August. You better. Have August. It's such a fun show. It's so fun. Have Would you ever you done tag it? Comic I have story. not. Oh, These yeah. dudes come do post it. a show. Yeah. Comics it. come up, do their set. And then Some comics, like Nikki did stuff she wanted tags for, which right. was so smart of her. Yeah. You do the whole set, and then at the end, they come out on stage with you. And what normally right. happens in the green room for us, we yeah. just we do on stage. Tags where they pitch you tags. It's yeah. so fun. It's yeah, so it's collaborative. It shows the comedy's collaborative. So we're doing that. And then uh, in uh, January, or January, Jesus Christ, in September, we'll be in Ann Arbor, Michigan at the Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase, the 8th and 9th. All our dates are on supersclars.com. Check ba, ba, ba. all that out. Join nice. our Patreons and all that Mr. other Ward, stuff. Mr. Wardell, what about you? What do you oh, well, the Brandon Jamel show is my is my podcast nice me Great. And my buddy jamel mm -hmm. and then i will be i'll be on the road at, i think in like the midwest in september okay. Great. Great. a bunch of spots it's all on social media why you know yeah go there where can people then, follow you uh instagram i guess bs wardell awesome. i'm not i'm not really on twitter i guess you had one of my now. favorite tweets of all time though which one um it was something like where you know where you you're doing diet like a tweet where you're doing dialogue and the person was like, you wrote the person saying, how come you won't text me back, but I see you writing tweets? And then you wrote, because those are different energies, baby. Uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the what I... I loved that tweet, though, because it's also exactly, true. But it is... Yeah, it's like I need, a, so I need a different set of skills. So my punch my energy that I'm putting into like joking around or being an idiot on the internet is right. not the same as me writing you back about whatever whatever loaded question you asked me. Yes. Yeah. I would. Yes. I just loved it. I would have tweeted. I would have tweeted that text. <laughs> And just that side of the text that says, yes. why do you, why won't you text me when I see you're tweeting? And then in the tweet, I would have underneath it said, cause I'm busy. <laughs> Are you guys ready for a story two? Let's do it. Story two. <laughs> Disgusted. Oh, this was sent in by Matthew Friedman at not your AVG Matt, Matt with two not T's. Your not average your average Matt. Matt. Uh, Disgusted customer claims Mac and cheese candle smells horrid. Well, mac you bought a mac candle. and cheese yeah. candle. By the way, I think it would smell great. I've had, I've bought bread candles before. Remember candles what? That smell kind? like bread. Who's it, making? Bread? So we. That there sounds was, like Tom Papa's merch. So right, <laughs> <laughs> right. So there was a candle store in St. Louis when my kids were little. We went to like Yankee make your candle. Okay, candle. this is already crazy, Randy, because it means it. It posits that you were someone on a trip going, I'm going to buy this candle and take it home. No, I was you were like someone an on, on the road trip candle was like, buyer. what are we going to do with these kids? And then are like, let's go to a candle store. I'm like, that'll kill a few hours. That's what I was okay. like. And your spirit. And then, but there are moments where I'm like, there's the candles in our room. And it's like, we've never lit it. Never. It smells like bread. It smells like bread. Remember when Gwyneth Paltrow did the vagina scented candle? Which, yes. by the way, the yeah. crazy thing about that, smelled like yeast. No, so it's a different. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. it's Ask a, Blair Brothers. Wait, the bread. Wait, tell me more about Was it about good? Bread? It yeah. smells like bread. It's a candle that smells like bread. You liked it. it. Yes, I loved it. But it's like the, I, I don't know. How do you the, get a the bread The idea smell? of like, I like the idea of freshly baked bread. Agreed. With the, the Jones. promise of, of bread coming. You're, oh, I'm about to eat bread. So you only but, like the bread with the result that comes with it. 
Yeah, I don't want to just smell bread. I agree with you. And then you. I'm like, oh, they do oh, these is there bread on the they horizon? Do, yeah. They do candles that smell like fresh baked cookies. And I'm like, why are you fucking with me? Yeah, I smell this? bread. Surely there must be. Dan. Fresh breasts, uh, fresh, 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 breasts, breasts, fresh, fresh, fresh breast, baked bread, bread yes. fresh, in yes. my fresh near baked breast, fresh baked bread yes. in my future. very That's right. near future. So right. near because you're smelling. Oh, and you're then smelling. I, and then now I'm crestfallen because there's no it's just a candle. Bread. That's right. Wait, crestfallen. That stinks. Dan, you said I heard you under your breast say Jimmy John's. Yeah, yeah. I promise you. I promise mm-hmm. you. And Whatever this, the Jimmy John's you, is not bread. No, <laughs> if you laid out for me a Jimmy John sandwich and a Jersey Mike sandwich, Ooh. and I didn't know which was which, and you you could t- said, smell the difference. No, you said tell me which is which. I promise you, I could never tell you the difference. Oh, I bet you could. Not no in a million way. years. 100%. Which one is better? Is Jimmy John's better than Jersey? The Mike's? rosemary parm Jersey Mike's <laughs> Damn, bread. Oh my god, uh, yeah. is so fucking good. It, okay, so where at Jersey Mike's? Yes. But Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. Has I good thought bread. Jimmy, John Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's problem Mike is when you eat it, it always person. wants to shoot out the back. Because I, well, I, I, I think like, in either, in either case, I, I will say like the original sub debate. Yeah. Like of twenty years ago. Sure. Or whatever. Okay, it's crazy what's it. happened to both of the Subway. Yep. Which is uh, I was I never really liked Subway. It's an past, airport like, sandwich. The age of like <laughs> yeah. twelve. It's an airport right? sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Even so, you could probably find better stuff at the sure, airport. Sure, right? sure, maybe. Yeah. Or it's like if you're in like a town where there's like truly nothing, mm-hmm. uh, and like the, I, but Quiznos, dude, Quiznos. Quiznos have you seen what happened? The game. But they, but have you game. seen what but happened? But there's like a hundred Quiznos left. left. Yes, in the country, they're Why? becoming extinct. <laughs> I don't understand. They're, they're they need the, to be protected like the bald eagle. Yeah, I don't. Understand. I swear to God, there's like less than two hundred Quiznos that exist. I wonder if there's any in America. Left. Did you ever oh, fuck yeah, with I, Blimpies? Uh, no, but it was on Air Force bases that I lived at. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, uh, it was like... Sure. Uh-huh. Uh, like, every Air Force base would have one Burger King and one Blimpies. One, one Blimpies. I can't believe yeah. you were yeah. in the Air Force as such a little kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? He has on the yeah, Bob Hope Scholarship. People forget this. <laughs> people were, forget were you a paratrooper? I, I was a fighter pilot. No. <laughs> but then, but, meanwhile, there's Firehouse subs. Okay, here's just, my like, thing. smoking in the corner. Not here's what I did. Oh, I also, did. oh, dude, I actually am... I'm actually so glad that you fucking brought up Firehouse subs. Because <laughs> you... Uh, I saw a Firehouse sub ad that made me want to eat all of it. They do a... <laughs> A pepperoni pizza sub mm. that is, it's in this like U yeah, shaped thing, and the U shaped bread is fucking garlic bread. Well, oh, okay. What? Okay, Firehouse Subs is a place I went to a lot during my brief, uh, during my stint at Northern Community, Northern Virginia Community, Community College, College gotcha. before I eventually transferred to Virginia Commonwealth University, mm-hmm. dropped out. Okay. Sure. Gotcha. But during my stint at Nova Community College, mm-hmm. I would go to Firehouse Subs a lot. Was sure. It <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it's like pretty good. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty sub. good. And they That's had a good. Coca-Cola freestyle machine, Ooh. right? Which was like really big for yeah. me. Because I also, I Agreed. can only drink uh, diet sodas. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm diabetic, so sure. I can't have yeah. like right. full sugar soda. Right. Mm-hmm. And usually the only option, Diet Coke. Right. Coca-Cola Freestyle, that was like, it was new. Whatever it was like a want. new Coca-Cola yes. Freestyle Whatever machine. Whatever you want, man. No, 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 so like, I was like you, geeked you, on that. I would go to the Coca-Cola Freestyle Machine website, yeah. enter in my zip code, and then just, you know. Where can I go? Who's, who's, who's to got say? me? Who's, who's got to me? say? Who's got me today? But Firehouse Subs, the thing about Firehouse Subs is they have like framed photos throughout the restaurant of just like fire. houses on fire. Yeah, dude. I know. <laughs> dude, dude. Just like, <laughs> so those are controlled burns. So d- I think, I don't know about I, I they're putting no, out those might be actual When we went to the at the diner Sparks, up by the, Sparks by your diner. Cab, Sparks diner up by your cabin in in uh, Wisconsin. Yeah. There were pictures of houses burning and mm-hmm. firefighters smiling in front of it. We're like, you guys should be going yeah. to fight that. Yeah, they're thing, losing right? yeah, their possessions. A, that's a post game photo. Yeah, don't yes. do that in the <laughs> middle. Don't save that. You can't for, do that hey, in the third well, quarter. Some guys might leave early before the fire zone. While we're all here, let's get <laughs> yeah, a good photo. All here. Let's not wheel the podium out in the third quarter. <laughs> like uh, every yeah. grandma at a birthday. While we're all here. While, while we're, we're all, all here. here. Okay. So my thing about Quiznos is because they're an endangered sub shop yes. now, I think there should be Quiznos in every zoo. 
because you're like yeah, we're trying protect to preserve protect and protect the that. Quiznos. But I will this, tell you that this, it wouldn't, this Quizno wouldn't survive out in the yes, wild. It couldn't do it on its own. But I will tell you this: someone tried to Capriotti's have best sub. I I someone had tried to. Someone Early tried sandwich to. Sandwich was good. Wait, where's Capriotti? There's All one, over. There's, there's a, a bunch couple in, in L.A. There's a we're bunch in Vegas, Vegas, but there's yeah. a couple in L.A. That's right, excellent. So continued. Okay, a repulsed customer had had blasted a candle making company for selling a candle they claim smells like a fart left trapped in a bag for 50 years since I mean, 19- that's so specific what I if it's <laughs> what if someone smelled it was like Not you know what yet. this smells like about 48, 48 yeah. years yeah don't since, don't be saying since 50 1996 years. a u.s based company dw home uh-huh. has been selling all sorts of unusual scented candles including now this is food that would piss me off just like you said about the mm-hmm. bread mashed potatoes okay turkey dinners sure and yeah. mac and cheese mac and cheese if i walk into somebody's house well, and i can fucking yeah. smell a turkey dinner yeah and they're like oh no it's just the candle i'd be like Are, that's out of control this, your I, think, so- I think what you're tapping into here is uh the the sensation of um somebody walking in with hot food on yes. the airplane yes yeah because it's like it's yes. all food it's food that if you smelled it in a non Plane context, right? Yeah, plane, would, yeah. Plane is a different universe. Yeah. Like the yeah. trapped land rules don't apply in right. the plane. Yeah. So you can't. You're not eat it. You're not no. eating. I once watched a guy in a plane just housing bonito flakes, Crazy. which is just the most so, pungent. So the like, smells. Okay, so smell. certain smells. Jay and I were just in San Francisco at Cobb's Comedy Club. Ne- right. Thanks to all who came out for that. Great, Next, great place. Love great that. place. Next door, like right down the street, between oh. Cobb's. And the corner bar yes, that I love so yes. much. You know that little oh, yeah, corner yeah, yeah. bar? I love that the, bar. It's like... It's an Irish bar right there. It's yes. so cool right on the corner. Yeah. Like, that's where we hang post-show. Mm-hmm. That's a little secret, pre and post-show. Uh, in between there, a curry house popped oh, up. The, the smell, smell of coming curry. out of that place <laughs> was, it was so, so good. good. And I can't tell you if the food was good. I, can't, I, I just know that we good. walked by and we're like, oh, oh my God, this yeah. is a, like they, they don't need signs. They don't need advertising. And it was, yeah. you could tell it was like a cool hip thing, but smells are a big deal. Smells I love, this is deal. actually a really big. So they're mad at the mac and cheese flavor because it one. smells like a fart in a bag for 50. When you walk past the barbecue place and, and it was like a craft branded God, that would right? be that No, because I'm so pretty good. sure they, they've done they they do that sometimes. Right, this is it. I can show you a picture. Or of like it. I can show you a picture. This is, of it. I think, just a mac and cheese. Okay. DW mac and cheese. And so you're probably is. going with a you're probably going with a you're probably going with like a baked. It's probably a baked. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. I mean, I'm saying this is what this is. I okay. Don't know. I I think this is what they deserve. However, one <laughs> disgusted <laughs> one disgusted customer has been left less than impressed by the mac and cheese offering, claiming it left them gagging in horror and in need of marriage counseling. Relax. What? Oh come on. Marriage uh, counseling. Relax. That's the customer issues. claims they'd initially believed their husband had soiled himself oh, after on. getting a whiff of the candle, which they <laughs> say nearly caused them to projectile vomit. So the husband farted. Right. And was like, "It's the candle, babe." Uh-uh. <laughs> I, and also, I he want to blame it on the candle. Right. <laughs> And she was like, we'll talk about this at couples therapy. <laughs> oh my the man, nauseated like, customer, whose name is Taylor, said, you all deserve jail time. My husband was giggling like a six-year-old boy as I gagged in horror. Now I'm convinced he is drunk and soiled himself. But no, he's sober. Is he? And is, just is stupidly he? laughing at the candle choice. So, surprise, he was waiting for me. So he knew it smelled bad. I was like, shit, yeah, dude, it's the giggle gag. The really giggle gag. You got to watch out for the giggle gag, man. I love. But if it was going to be craft, it has to be spirals. Spiral yeah. candle is where I'm where I live. Right. Would you get a candle that smelled like a wet dog? No. No, no I no, I wouldn't do that. No. But Nobody you would do that it. That sounds unpleasant. Although they a do dog to after to, a good shampooing yeah. smells so nice. You like a, the smell of a wet dog? No. <laughs> oh, okay. A yeah. well You're just positive dog. Horrible I'm just saying like ideas. other bad smelling candles. There could be a company. Right. Oh, Definitely yeah. I'm sure there's a company that will create <laughs> bad smell candles. Yeah, like a wet mop or you know, the strawberry salt on throw up at a school. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> when he giggled and told me it was mac and cheese candle that was causing me to almost projectile vomit, I slammed the lid in it to smother the flame and ran it out to the trash can. We literally had to open the windows and leave the house to go get dinner. Hopefully they got mac and cheese. Yeah, exactly. Whoever <laughs> he, made he this mac and jail cheese time at the and owes me marriage counseling. That's not Man, why you need it. No one no. needs Taylor jail time. Wasn't the only buyer to take issue with this particular scent. Okay. Which, what do you think its rating is? 
which has a rating on the official DW Home website. What do you think the rating is of this candle? Star, Mac and cheese. Out of five. Out of five stars. Do you want to go first, Tig, or last? One. Okay. One, one star. One star. I'm going to go. Yeah. I'm going to go two stars. Okay. Three stars, and if you are taking the time to rate Candles. products on the DWP <laughs> website or whatever it is, you got DWP. problems. You, got you, pro- need, you need you it. It has problems. a rating of four point six. Okay. okay, okay. So most people like, like it. it. A second person okay. shuddered. It smells like someone dumped the mac and cheese flavor powder into a bag, farted in it, sealed up the bag, and then you opened it. We already covered this. It's epic. By However, the way, all the things that had to do. We got to dump the powder in. We got to open the bag. It smells gotta, like someone tried to dump it into a bag and then got a phone call, so they waited a few minutes. And then once they then they clicked over to another call because they had to deal with someone else. And then they came back, and they were like, oh, yeah, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, it's in this bag. Yeah, I got to fart in this bag. And and I fart in the bag, but then they were like, oh, shit, I got to remember. I got to pick up the dog that's down at the vet. And it's like, right. wait, oh my is God. he ready yeah. already? Right. Oh, my God. I just remembered I said something horrible to my aunt once when I was 17. Let me write her a, let let me write her a note. Her and you, actually, should I write her a note or should I write her? You know what I'm going to do? Yeah. I'm going to text her, apologize, and then block right. her. because You know I what? Maybe I'll feel her out. It. See if she remembers it. Feel her out. Out. Not up. Okay. <laughs> However, there are others who can't get enough of this fragrant, which one happy customer praised as being astounding artisanal achievement. Oh, Another oh, gushed. I did not, this is for you, Brandon. I did not expect this to smell identical to boxed mac and cheese. What? Uh, But it does. I'm back on board. Mm -hmm. Whoever created this got it exactly right. Amazing. DW sells nearly 650 different scents. Including warm tobacco pipe. That could be good. That would the be great. Is, is that like smells nice. good. That yeah. smells good. But so here's the thing, Dan. You know the person who's like, it smells like artisanal mac yeah, and artisanal. cheese. Artisanal. That's a jerk. So that person. No, it smells like box mac and cheese, but someone else called it an astounding artisanal achievement. Right. Fine. An astounding, outstanding artisanal achievement. AAA. That person yeah. loves to say to the people who think it thinks that it stinks, you don't get it. Uh huh. Yeah, you know, they make their own. Yeah. Like, you you just, yeah, they don't. I mean, you're not seeing it. Surely the truth lies somewhere in the middle. Right. Yes. Between or four point oh, six. Farts of my elders and artisanal, <laughs> ar- ar- artisanal uh, magic. Wait, outstanding artisanal artis- artistic achievement. <laughs> yeah. I would call it fart. Uh, yeah. I would call it fartisanal. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the name yeah, of this episode is <laughs> outstanding <laughs> artisanal achievement or fartisanal achievement. Fartisanal is pretty great. Uh, so they sell uh, other scents of their 650, like warm tobacco pipe, tranquil lotus, and lava. I will ask you, they how go much? for about how, how much? much U.S. dollars? 50. 50 bucks? I think the candle's 36. 36? Oh, wait. Actually, I'm going to change. Let me change my answer. Yeah. Because 50 is, I think that they're going low. I think it's like sort of a... Low ball. D, it's not a Yankee candle. It's they're a not, DW. Yeah. This is, we're not talking diptyque. Right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> 35. 35. Okay, what'd you say? <laughs> I right? said 36. I I'll, love switch mine to, yeah. I'll switch mine to 27. <laughs> okay. Uh, 1999. In US dollars, it equals $19.30. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, very oh, nice. Very right. nice. You also have our third story. Give us a tease. Kind of, I, I just want to say that I'm kind of anti food candles. Yeah, yes. You, agreed. In yeah, I know, because the promise of what you're smelling yes. is not oh going to come God. to you. If in I the walk end, in and it smells you, like you banana cream pie, that, and your oven's not it, even on. But in, the sweet treat ones, is yeah. uh, that's not, any, any desserty candle. Mm-hmm. It's not even about the strawberry of, shortcake. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I, You'll I take a good If, if I walk in and it's barbecue chicken, though, I'd be like, who's Who making barbecue, barbecue chicken? chicken? No one, Daniel. It's a candle. That's right. Okay. Uh, all right. Here's what Give I got. a little teaser of what we're going to get in section. <laughs> uh, it, you, sh- you don't always need to post everything that happens in your life. Great sure. point. Yeah. It's a good Great rule point. for life. Although if he, someone ever says, why are you not texting me? You got to post. Uh, you have to post. Oh, yeah. Which I don't even remember. Because I'm busy. I, I actually busy. don't remember. Certain people's tweets, I remember. That was like. This I, was I, years I like and years barely ago. use it now. I like don't really use it. Sure. But I used to when I was like 23. Yeah. I would. Like, this was a long time ago. I just I would have just a black weird memory. out and like tweet 20 times a day, <laughs> and not like I, I yeah. It, it's I look back on it now and I'm like, thank oh, God you weren't canceled. You were like drunk was tweeting. Crazy, all right. Uh, all right. Well, let's take a break. We come back and uh, Dan will tell us what he's up to, and then we'll get into this last story. Awesome. It's Dumb People Town with Brandon Wardell. Don't go anywhere. Stick around, make a sound, there's more dumb people town. All right, hey guys, welcome back to the show. Daniel, 
where can people see you and support you? Guys, here's a couple. I'll give you a couple of highlights. First, everything's up at DanielVanKirk.com or at Daniel Van Kirk. Uh, I've got some real fun announcements for great things coming up soon that I can't say. But what I can say is in September, I think like the 21st-ish, right around then, mm-hmm. I'll be at the High Plains Comedy Festival. Hey, it's so fun. In October, I think on the 20th, I'm doing an 8 o'clock show at the White Bull. And that is, uh, I'm headlining Yuck Fest in Can Boston. I do your 11-11 thing? 11 11 at the Lincoln Lodge yes. in uh, Chicago, Illinois. You're Dan's doing recording a special. A, a yeah. new special. It'll be my album. album. It'll be my special. So come on out. I think because we're shooting the whole thing in the second show, I might be doing some stuff from Thanks Diane just to get it on film because we don't not? have it Fun. anywhere. Fun. But uh, it'll be my it'll be my new it's a great hour idea. my new album. Hell yeah! That's 11 11 at the Lincoln Lodge. Make it a weekend, and I guarantee there will be some sort of official or unofficial Hang. party at one of my favorite that. bards afterwards as well. So Meet make raffle? it a weekend. Come Meet hang out. Meet, Meet raffle, raffle Dan. Yeah. Meet yeah. raffle. All right, Jay, oh, bring us home. Buddy. All right. This is sent in by Jake Roney at Jake Roney. Love you, Jake. Biker Love who tried to get away from GSP identified after he posted video of Chase to TikTok. Wait, George St. Pierre? YouTube. Yeah, the, the, the fighter? No. Yeah, exactly. Who's GSP? Uh, okay, wait. He's, read Georgia, that headline one more time. Georgia so, biker State who tried Poli- to get away from Georgia State, State Police, Police identified after he posted video of Chase to TikTok oh, and YouTube. Idiot. So, he dummy. Create a burn. You got away. Yeah. You got away. The Clayton County Police Department. Like, you don't even understand that, like, posted to someone else's account. He (laughs) wanted the views. Although it would still probably be first person. I guess. Right? I mean, like. Yeah. They're going to so find him. Stupid. So POV, the, you're running. You're yeah. Running. <laughs> that feel, good, that feeling you get when the <laughs> yeah, cops yeah, are chasing yeah, yeah. you. All right. POV, you had a bad day. <laughs> oh, All right. Don't do that to The people. Clayton County Police Department has issued arrest warrants for Riverdale motorcyclists after officers said he eluded police during a chase and then posted his exploits on social media. Dummy. So, you got away, mm-hmm. dipshit. So Jay and I were in, were walking back from in San Francisco, walking back to the hotel, just walking back yeah. from Saturday night. As one does. Saturday and, night. And we and we were literally talking to our friend. We said, you know, they're talking about how San Francisco is in a post-apocalyptic madhouse. And you're, you're not I'm sure not, we're, like, oh, we're not positive. seeing it. It looks yeah. so uh-huh. cool. I'm literally rolling like our merch down and uh-huh. like uh-huh. rolling back. I'm talking to our buddy Andrew Cohen and we're walking down and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa stop, sees stop. It. He, he stops sees it. something. He's like, stop, stop, stop. And we're like, what? what? He's like, people running, people running running and they were th- we're like what are you saying three dudes three dudes, running three, down three young the dudes are running down the street kind of on the block right in front of us cop car pulls up they disperse like three guys yeah. it's ins- uh, it's an one insane runs scene. through us through us like right between the th- we're like, like what is happening ghost? oh it was and they're crazy. going every which way and then they start running back to this way and a cop like tackles one and takes him down on the street I, it was just it was you so insane i'm like why did you run Presumably. back towards the cop car oh yeah God. and that it'd be like somebody filming it yeah yeah, yeah. the guy running away who one, the gets guy who away, got away. Yeah, one of them yeah. got away two yeah. of them i think got caught right one yeah. got caught up the street and then one got yeah. away it'd be like that guy posting that video on tiktok but Dummy. also yeah. you, if you post that video on tiktok you also have dumb friends because yeah. i guarantee to one of his friends he was like dude should i post it well that's like that's, and they're probably like yeah this dude. has been something that's been happening for i feel like i see this story every yes. couple of yeah. months yes yeah. I, they, that was like a big facebook live thing yes. right i'm gonna right. facebook live yes. and go yes. live and it's yeah. like we can geo target where you are now so uh after hearing about the case lieutenant reamers with the clayton county police department began searching social media and eventually found the video so cops now have to act like people who had their bikes stolen right. yeah where you go onto craigslist or offer up or marketplace and be like is someone selling my bike yeah. part of a cop's now detective work is like well i'm gonna go on social media and see if anybody if they posted them running from us right right right, yeah. right. actually i have i've incriminated myself once <laughs> no. okay and this is i've I've told this story on a on a different podcast, but I like I I was uh I vaped on a on a jet blue flight <sighs> mm-hmm. once. Mm-hmm. And um this is actually this is me being very dumb person yeah, yeah, in yeah. town. This mm-hmm. is your dumb people it's, town story. Sure. I, I fucking I like I don't know, I was like off like a a Zan and like mm-hmm. had, mm-hmm. like had drank on the plane. Tweeting a lot. And uh <laughs> then I was like in like the I'm in the bathroom and then I, I posted some photo of me vaping in the bathroom. Oh like, God. It was like at JetBlue. Like, at you Jet at JetBlue? Jet <laughs> I was like, no. No. I know. Wow. I know. Yes. No. Hashtag blue chips. I was like, Hashtag at, at JetBlue. Like, I, you know, 
I dare you to arrest me. I dare you to arrest me. I don't know. I, I forgot what I I forgot the language You're I used exactly. Jet I'd, blue. I'd have to find it. Yeah. But um they're like kind of forgot world. about forgot about this. Sure. Of course. And then months later, I'm at the Burbank airport. Yep. And uh I hear my name multiple times as I'm as I'm going through security. Yeah, no. Sweet, I want. Something. I I keep hearing them say like, Brand Brandon Wardell, Wardell, come to Gate A nine. I hear them say this like three times as I'm walking from security to the gate, and it's yeah, a yeah, small yeah. airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, I don't know how many times they said it before that. Okay. Um, this is like an hour before my flight mm -hmm. and uh i get up to the gate i'm they're saying it again mm -hmm. and i'm like oh I'm, that's me i'm hey i'm him you, you know, thought whatever. they were just reminding you yeah. to keep going yeah i thought they were just encouraging brandon me. wardell you're doing great <laughs> <Yeah>. two <laughs> more <laughs> gates to go buddy <laughs> pick um, up a sandwich at guy fietti's stand <laughs> so this guy uh this guy's standing there uh introduces himself and he goes yeah, I'm a region. I'm like head of regional security for JetBlue. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ! Um, you you posted something about um, vaping. Vaping on you're like on I was on a Xanax. Aircrafts. Yeah, and uh, I was on illegal <laughs> meds at that time. Yeah, it's <laughs> like prescribed meds. Yourself, like, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> what'd you say? I well, he, basically he was just like, uh, well, I, I apparently they tried they tried talking to me. After I landed on that flight, and I just wasn't. Yeah, I was no. just there. Like, right, you wasn't there. there. I like had headphones on, walked yeah, right past him. Of course. Um, and so he he goes, uh, he's like, hey, so uh, if this happens again, um, we will divert the aircraft. No. Oh my god. We will divert the aircraft, and uh, deep deboard the plane. Oh my god. And uh, arrest you. You'll you be will. Arrested. Yeah. You will. You will be arrested. Yeah. Banned from any fu further uh, any future JetBlue wow. Jet flights, and our next conversation will not be so friendly. Are wow. we clear? And you're like this wow. one wasn't friendly either, dude. And I was like, yeah, yeah, no, it wasn't really. Also, that. thanks for giving me another chance. But it, it was, I do appreciate that they yeah, 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 they yeah, did yeah. leave me with a warning. Right, and sure, I, I agree. Did I, you vape like, in his face? Never, <laughs> no, no, I, I was. Yeah, it's a I, great now idea. I, no, I now I. If I were to do that again, in you theory, won't. please do not. Please don't. No one no, would I know would but just, you. No, you can vape in an air, airplane bathroom. Just don't post it don't and post. tag the airline. Yeah, don't tag the airline. Dude, do you realize? You also can't. Do you, do you should have tagged American Airlines. It, no, it won't actually like, do, do anything do? to the plane. I know, but, I know, but do you realize if you them. did that on Spirit Air, they would have cut you with a box cut? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and that's fine. All right. They would have let so. me home, fly bro. the plane. Yeah. Uh, on December 14th, GSP met with Reamers and then went to the driver's Riverdale home for a knock and talk. What's okay. a knock and talk? I, that I love so That's much. That's kind of what he knock had, a knock yeah, and yeah. talk. You had a knock, knock and talk at the talk. airport. Brandon Wardell, uh, please come to gate A9 <laughs> for a knock and talk. For a knock and talk. <laughs> uh, while at the home, they spoke with the driver, saw the motorcycle, drive, the, and the driver eventually admitted to fleeing of course. the GSP. Yeah. You're going to admit to it. What did he do? What was the crime? Chase. Just evading. Just just evading evading cops. Tried to pull him over. Oh, yeah. We don't even know what to charge him for. Yeah, he's right, though. We don't know what the initial crime was. So the county police said they issued how many arrest warrants against the driver who has not been identified it is unclear what charges he actually faces yeah. but how many arrest warrants does he have six what? how could he have more than one he could i say six i'll go three uh five get your answers in shout at your ham radios he has 12 12, 12 arrest warrants. jesus so he's got lots of He's done a lot, done of, a lot of bad things. That's a lot of TikToks. So okay, so yeah. my guess is they he had an arrest warrant out. They saw his license yeah, yeah, plate yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They're like, "This is our guy," and he's like, "I'm gonna outrun him." But I'm gonna post it on TikTok just yeah, because. Moron. Why not? How moron. many hits? I wonder how many clicks he got. It didn't say. Without the <sighs> diligent efforts of Lieutenant Reamers to go above and beyond the call of duty, call of duty, uh -huh. uh, it is highly likely that the offender would not have been identified. He could have continued to endanger the citizens of Clayton County Police. Why don't they also uh, applaud post. the efforts of this moron? Yeah, without thank him you, being a total thank idiot you. and the cops looking thank, on social it's like, media. He's like, it's you know, my everybody time. had a it's hand my... in this, including <laughs> the perpetrator. It's my time to go. All right, it's so. dumb justice. That's what I like. I dumb like justice. Dumb justice. Dumb justice. Dumb justice. And there you go. So there you go. That is the show. Uh, Brandon Wardell, thank you again. The yes, podcast that people should check out of oh, yours. The Brandon Jamel Show. Brandon Jamel Show, which I've seen clips of. So funny. So funny. Dude, dude keep doing what you're doing. I love seeing you. Uh, you got a very bright future on JetBlue ahead of you. Yeah, <laughs> thank uh, you. We'll see you guys next time. And oh shit, we got to get back to work. See ya. Boom. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town.